President Biden, we as civil society representatives from across South Asia do appreciate your initiative of rejoining the Paris Agreement. And organizing the Leaders Summit on Climate. At this important juncture, we civil society representatives from South Asia urge you on the behalf of 1.82 billion of our people affected by the climate crisis they did not create to urgently commit to do the following. The United States and the NX1 countries must fulfill their pledge. Up 100 billion dollar per year for developing countries. Which is the preparation for their historical liabilities. In this regard, we strongly oppose any fake solution. In the name of market-based mechanism. Accepting its historical liabilities, the United States must make an enhanced nationally determined contribution. With ambitious emission reduction. Not only within the territory, but also beyond the boundaries. However, U.S. economics uh, have a carbon footprint. We do not accept any false solutions in the name of net zero or carbon offsetting. The United States financial institution, both state-owned and private, must stop fossil fuel finance to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. The world's four biggest lenders and underwriters for the fossil fuel industry are from the United States. The United States capital market has two diverse from fossil fuel projects and comply with the Paris Agreement. U.S. investors and asset management companies are the largest investors in fossil fuel companies. The U.S.-based technology company supplies almost one-fourth of global fossil fuel related equipment. They still help expand fossil fuel based power projects globally these technology suppliers must exit from fossil fuel based industries immediately the united states is a home of advanced technology for renewable energy we ask the u.s government and tech giants to provide the advocate technology institutional support to the asian countries to build a decarbonized society dear president biden we sincerely hope you act on these demands of communities in South Asia and fulfill your commitments on the goals of the Paris Agreement. It is then the later summit on climate can be a success. Nothing less than this will be acceptable.